20, 25 people at a time come off the bus. This goes to the border. It's the mayor. The mayor of New York City's one paying for it. Well, somebody's paying for it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? The, the, that the mayor used like uh, taxpayer money for paying bus ticket? That's kind of up to people to vote on the men, isn't it? Not me. I didn't vote on men. assisting in interviewing those who seek to go somewhere else. Some want to go to Canada, some wants to go to warmer states, uh, and we are uh, there for them as they continue to move on with their pursuit of this dream. Alexa Lavoie for Ruben News, and I'm in Plattsburgh right now to talk about investigating what is really going on here with the arrival of buses from New York, bringing migrants wanting to cross into Canada illegally. Before I go any further, remember to go to StopTraffickingToCanada.com, sign our petition and take action today by sending a message to Mayor Eric Adams that we disagree with his decision. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, about 37 kilometers from Plattsburgh on the Canadian border is an illegal entry point called Rock Sam, further known in 2017 due to Donald Trump's new immigration policy, a number of non-citizens fled to Canada after Justin Trudeau announced that he would receive all those fleeing persecution. A number of politicians in Quebec, including Premier François Legault, have asked the federal liberal to close Roxham Road, but to no avail. Plattsburgh is a transient city where migrants disembark buses, including those from New York, and then hop into a taxi and toward our border. About a week ago, we learned that the mayor of New York, Eric Adams, is helping migrants travel to Canada by subsidizing their bus ticket at taxpayer expense. If they're seeking to go somewhere else, we are helping in the reticketing process of what we found that people had other destinations, but they were being compelled only to come to New York City. And we are assisting in interviewing those who seek to go somewhere else. Some want to go to Canada, some wants to go to warmer states, uh, and we are uh, there for them as they continue to move on with their pursuit of this dream. About 66 US dollars to get rid of the problem when they define themselves as a sanctuary city for migrants. Almost 82% of migrants crossing Roxanne Road end up in accommodation paying out of taxpayers' money in Canada. The RCMP intercepted more than 34,000 asylum seekers between January and November 2022, illegally crossing Quebec at Roxham Road, of course. This illegal mass immigration has become a real burden on Canadians, and no one seems to be listening to Canadian wishes to see this situation resolved. Right now, taxis are promoting Roxham Road. Private vans living from anywhere in the United States are arriving at our irregular border. The mayor of New York is literally trafficking migrants with bus tickets paying through public funds. And now we learn that even American federal agents are still part of the problem. The Parti Québécois submitted a project to the National Assembly to take action and use the Quebec police to intercept these migrants. But is that really what it takes? Christine Fréchet, Minister of Immigration, stated that nearly 400 migrants who passed through Roxham Road during the weekend of 11 and 12 February were redirected to other Canadian provinces. Again, they are moving the problem around and same if Mr. Lego have has to close Roxham Road and now want to reiterate demands of the Safe Third Country Agreement. 
Do that will change the situation? That remains to be seen. The exception, the loophole that has been found is that if people cross into Canada via Roxham Road or elsewhere and then claim refugee status, we cannot send them back to the United States because they're already in Canada. So the problem isn't with the safe third party agreement. The problem is the safe third country agreement. The problem is with the fact that we cannot apply it across the entirety of our border between official border crossings as well. And that's what we're working on uh, with the United States. And today I'm bringing you an exclusive report of what is happening on the American side. Stay tuned. Since when you are doing it, like uh, the trip to Roxham? I've been doing it about seven years now. Really is? Yeah. I've and seen quite a few of your videos. My video? Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> Since they started. So? 10, 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. The three years we shut down for the COVID. Okay. When the COVID came, we shut, took the vans right off the road. Do you consider that is a good business, the Roxham Road? Yeah, it's, there are a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was real good when it first started, and now it's slowing down because there's so many competition now. Okay. The, the, see that $100,000 Mercedes man next to me? Mm -hmm. Well, he's a, he's, a, he's a runner too. He was a retired Greyhound bus driver. So he got, he's, got, he's got a lot of info. How many buses coming? You have the 2 in the morning bus, 4.30, 5.30 in the morning bus, 6.30 bus, 3 o'clock in the afternoon bus, 6.30 at night bus. They come out all around the clock. And there's usually seven, eight cabs out here at the same time. Different companies. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the fact that now Canadians see it as a really terrible problem for our country, Roxham Road, but you are encouraging and driving people to that border? Well, they've got to get there one way or another. You know, but they shut the border down. They don't want them to come anymore, shut the border down. It's one way to stop it. Mm -hmm. But as long as they keep coming, they got to get there somehow. So how's he going to get there? Mm -hmm. And they don't realize when they get dropped off here in Plattsburgh, they think they're in Canada anyway. You, know, you got to tell them where they are. They don't know where they are. So you're, you're t telling them that they can go to Canada? No, I'm not telling them. They want to go to Canada. They think they're in Canada when they get off the bus. You tell them they're not in Canada. This is the USA. Then they say they want to go to Canada. Mm -hmm. That's when we bring them to Canada. Do they have people here who come and train them when they arrive to the border or you do it yourself when you tell them what to do and what to say when they arrive to the border? I just tell them what the Canadian police say. Okay. I don't tell them that's the difference, you know, just what the Canadian police tell them what to do and they do it. So you know, the Canadian police one tells them to cross, not, not basically, you know, mm -hmm. not us. We're not allowed to tell them to cross. What do you say to them when they come to you? A uh, taxi, you need to ride the Roxanne Road border. And they say yes, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you tell them the price. And if they don't get the money, then you take them for whatever, you know, 40, 50 bucks, whatever. You know, you don't, don't demand the price. They just, mm -hmm. that's what you start. And, and if they don't have it, you, I bought people up there for no money. They had no money, so I bring them up anyway. You bring them anyway, same if they don't have money? Yes. But I ask, I ask them where they come from. They come from Africa, uh, Iran, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, all over places I don't even understand the names of them. And I ask them, and ask them why they come, and of course they tell me why they come, and they're afraid to go back, they're afraid to get deported. Some of the Taliban's have cut the heads off their family and members if they, it is crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why they run, they're running for their own lives. Some have been here five, six years in the United States and they can't get a green card. And they're afraid to get deported, so they go to Canada. If you have a good day, how many trip you would would do? I would uh, four trips maybe, not very much. Four trips because there's seven cab companies out here when the bus comes. Sometimes I don't do any. Do you think that you really help the the people when you bring them to the illegal border? What am I gonna do? Leave them here? Either leave them here, and they they don't know what to do, or bring them there, and somebody help them there. But what are they going to do? They already got kicked out of New York City. New York City shipped them down here on the buses. They're paying for the tickets. 
but they don't realize once they get off the bus here, they uh, what to do. Mm -hmm. So go to New York City, interview some of those fools that sent them here. Do you see a difference of uh, the number of people since the announcement of the mayor that he is paying the bus ticket? Yes. Yeah, sometimes there's full load of people, full load coming off the bus that's going to the border. Uh, before that, it wasn't. But. How many people per bus, uh, you think? I've seen 20, 25 people at a time come off the bus. This goes to the border. This the mayor. The mayor of New York City is one paying for it. Well, somebody's paying for it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, the, the, that the mayor used, like, uh, taxpayer money for uh, paying bus ticket? That's kind of up to people that voted them in, isn't it? Not me. I didn't vote them in. Sometimes do you see some people that that are not really asylum seeker, that are just like normal migrant? Everyone I've took up are seeking asylum. You know, they're not legal here and they want to go there. They've been here for several years waiting to get legal and they can never get legal. And they're afraid to get deported back to their countries. And that's when they go to Canada and try there. It might not work out in Canada either, I don't know. Mm -hmm. This morning, they, Canada wanted to, was talking about trying to get Ottawa to shut down Roxanne Road border. So if that's so much of a problem, then shut it down and stop the problem. Let the U.S. deal with it. Mm -hmm. Do you know where they heard about Roxanne Road for most of them? YouTube. They watched it all on YouTube. Uh, mostly YouTube. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. What do people say usually when they they come to your car? Do where they heard about Roxham? Uh, they think it's uh, safe to cross here. Mm -hmm. They're looking for asylum. Mm -hmm. Most of these people are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And most of them are coming from which country? Nigeria, Africa. Uh, Turkish people. Do you think it that helped them to bring them to Roxham Road? Yeah. Yeah. So you're thinking that you are doing a good action for them? Uh, because they say if they go back to their country, they'll get murdered or killed. Mm -hmm. And why they don't stay in U.S.? Uh, a lot of them stay here until the visas run out and can't, they can't get them renewed and they got to look for someplace else to go. Mm -hmm. So you heard yourself by the taxi driver, not only one bus per day, but multiple one. And he also saw some taxi coming from New York, arriving here. So as he told me, it's a literally a nice and good business for them to make money. So I'm going to wait for the bus to come. And I'm going to try to talk with some of the migrants and I'm going to drive through the border of Roxham Road, but on the U.S. side. Are they going to Roxham? Roxham. How many of them? A family. A family? Yeah. So right now behind me, a bus from New York just arrived, a great own. As soon as the bus park, we have about eight, eight van ready to bring them to Roxham Road. So I'm going to go over there and I will have the footage of them arriving at the border. Let's check it out. Donc, de quel pays vous, vous, vous venez? Je, suis, je viens d'Haïti. D'Haïti. Et pourquoi vous êtes venu par Roxham aujourd'hui? Tout le monde sait comment, comment, comment est la cause en Haïti. Mm -hmm. C'est un peu difficile mm -hmm. et compliqué. Vous saviez que vous pouviez passer ici euh, à Roxham? Je ne sais pas. Et dans la vie, il faut tenter, mm -hmm. il faut chercher. Mm -hmm. On essaie tout. Si ça marche, ça marche. De où vous avez entendu parler qu'il y avait un chemin au Canada pour euh, rentrer? De où? Des personnes qui passent. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. C'est tout? Des gens vous ont dit qu'il y avait un, une manière de rentrer au Canada? C'est difficile, mais quand même, on peut tenter. Mm -hmm. C'est juste ça.
traverser la passage ici, vous allez être en état d'arrestation. Vous saviez pas que c'était une infraction? Non, c'est entré illégalement dans un pays, donc c'est une infraction criminelle, oui, effectivement. Qu'est-ce qu'on vous avait dit? Je n'ai vraiment pas du mal pour parler. people are crossing illegally in Barcelona. Okay. They just crossed the border of Canada illegally, okay? Yes, criminal, you in, criminal infraction, you understand that? You understand that? Where are you from? Turkish. Turkish. I am refused. You stop there. Stop there, sir. Understand? Hey. You stop. Hey! Sir, you stop there. Where? I am Where refugee. Are you going? I am refugee. Where are you going? I am refugee. Yeah. Where are you going? We tell you to stop. You understand? Huh? We said go there. Okay? Wait. Your passport. Okay, you settle down, okay? Calm down. No rush. All right? Turkey? Turkey, I am refugee. Yeah, we get you that, okay? Not but you settle down, yeah, calm down, down, okay? There's no rush here, okay? I'm not in She's crossing legally right now, so now you're under arrest for illegal entry. You understand that? Calm, okay? Calm down. I get that. But stop. Stop it, stop. Everywhere, right? Canada, you stop, you stop. Cell phone? Cell phone? Phone? Telephone? Telephone? Yeah, put in that bag. <coughs> okay, keep that. Go in line. <coughs> If you like me, you think that what is going on with the New York City sending their migrants to Canada and everything that is around Roxham Road, I invite you to take action today. Go to StopTraffickingToCanada.com. Sign our petition on, and on this website. You can also send a message to the mayor of New York, Eric Adams, that enough is enough. And their problem is not ours. Thanks.